Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my commentaries. I realize it's been a while. I've been doing a lot of other things and videos and actually I just kind of haven't posted in a while. But I am back. And what we have here today is some CSGO gameplay. I did some deathmatch. And I did pretty good. I did like a 2.0 KD which in deathmatch is about all you can ask for when there's people spawning all around you. Anyways. Today's commentary is going to be an interesting one. If you have had a game on your wish list or saw something you liked in the last couple of years, well, last year, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that is why the hell is everything broken? And I'm talking about games like Assassin's Creed Unity, um, the new Halo Master Chief Collection. All these big company games that are so we expect to be solidly made, and they're all broken as hell. Like some of them, you can barely play. I know Master Chief Collection, you couldn't even get on the multiplayer barely, and if you did, it took like three hours. Or if you look at the MMO world, like World of Warcraft, they were waiting. I think this one guy said two thousand hours to get into servers. Which is absolutely ridiculous. This is things that you do not expect when you buy a new game. Now, there are a number of reasons that I believe the cause of this. One is just pure laziness by the companies. And they're trying to, like, they're assuming that since everyone has internet connections, they can push out these games and then just fix them later, and no one's going to care because they think that they should just hit that release date and not worry that their game is broken as hell. Now this is something that is completely unacceptable and like as a consumer when you buy something you expect it to work. That's just a given. And the gaming industry is getting the notion that they do not have to release working games because they can just update it and we're allowing it. And it's kind of utterly ridiculous that they believe this but in a way it's almost our fault as well due to the fact that we like almost scapegoat companies that do push back their releases. Companies are scared to do so because they're afraid things they're gonna get bad backlash. So they they push it out as fast as they can. And it's hurting us. Even though we think we're helping us by making them push things out on release date. It's something we should address on both sides. And the way I see it Back in the day, like, let's say, Halo 3 in particular, it was pushed back almost two years from its initial release date because they didn't think it was ready. And when it came out, the gamers were happy and they loved it. Nowadays, you would never see that. If it gets pushed back a month, people get pissed. And that's hurting, it's hurting ourselves because the game comes out and it's broken and we have, we can't play it. Uh, you know, but at the same time, it still is partially the company's faults for thinking that it's okay to do so and the way I see it companies need to look back to the days of like your Nintendo 64 or PlayStation 2 when there were no patches you didn't get that option you had to release a working game or it wasn't gonna sell and I feel like companies need to have that same mindset again and it's gonna help everyone if we can get back to that like if you remember let's say uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 there were no updates to that game I mean there was sort of multiplayer for the PS2 but you couldn't patch updates because there's no online interface and that game was beautiful it was one of my favorite games of all time and there were no need for a patch or updates because the game worked the first time and I feel like that's the kind of thing we need. There needs to be something like that again. And I don't know if that's just a crazy me talking and not really understanding the new age, but I preferred that kind of stuff. Like, it just seems like companies cared more back then, whereas now they're just trying to push out games. Call of Duty's on their 10th fucking game. Assassin's Creed made like 6 or 7 of them. I don't even know what I want this one. And all these things are broken. But in the midst of all this, there is some shining stones in the darkness. Like, um, 343 Industries 
decided that since they fucked up all up to the Kingdom Come, that they were gonna release a Halo 3 ODST expansion pack for free. Remastered for the Master Chief's collection. Which is actually pretty awesome, and I'm actually <laughs> surprised because with 343, it's been hit and miss with me. I ha I couldn't stand Halo 4. Uh, I didn't really get into Spartan Assault so much, but I've just had a really bad experience with 343 so far. And it's just nice to see that they're actually doing something right. That's something that I will tip my hat off to and be happy with. Now, surprisingly enough, there is one company that has managed not to fuck up any of their recent releases. And that is the least... The company that nobody seems to remember anymore. It is Nintendo. Uh, they released Mario Kart 8 and Super Smash Bros. without a single big glitch. They had no issues. The online multiplayer worked. The games were fun. There were no glitches. And it was awesome because I bought both those games and they are beautiful. Smash is literally, me and my friends cannot get enough of it. And actually, it's kind of funny because those two games, not only did they launch correctly, they basically say the Wii U. It's just awesome. But it just shows that there still is hope in the world for gaming companies like Ubisoft, 343, and EA. EA. Uh, now that was another big game issue. There's Battlefield 4 that we all oh my God. bought because we heard, holy shit, it's falling skyscraper. And then we all got it and found out it was broken as hell again. And it just made me laugh so hard when I got that game because I'm like, oh, I want to play this so bad, but I couldn't play it for the first two days. It pissed me off. And that's just something I would wish that game companies would avoid is these these launch crises but I think another part of this is companies aren't expecting as many players as they're getting like especially if you look at the World of Warcraft situation their servers were just overflowing they hadn't had that many active players in like three or four years and all of a sudden it's just kaboom because they added an extra 10 levels I know my friend he sat on there for like an entire day waiting to get into a server and that's really how it was it was that bad where you were waiting way too long um, I know a guy from inside gaming was trying to get on it he waited all day and when he finally got there it crashed and he couldn't play it again so it was it's just like a completely chaotic gaming scene right now and I think oh God, we as no, gamers no, need to step no. up. We need to tell these game companies that we don't care if they push it back a week, Guys, two weeks, me. maybe even a couple months. But I want this game to work. I want to be able to play it when I buy it. I want it to work. And I want to be satisfied with the product. And if we can get game companies in that mindset, we're going to have a brand new shining light into our gaming experiences and I can't even seriously die to have this because right now I'm too scared to buy any new games I, I don't want to buy them because I don't think they're gonna work and I've just been it's almost like I don't know if I want to buy them because I'm just hearing nothing but terrible experiences from these and as a gamer of I've been gaming since, I don't even remember, six years old. This is scary to me because there's no confidence in the gaming market. And there's no confidence. It just doesn't make a good experience for anyone. And the game sales are higher than ever, but I haven't bought a new game in almost probably. The last new game I bought would have been. Oh, jeez. Last game I bought a lot, that was Super Smash Bros, but that was just because, well, it's fucking Super Smash Bros. <laughs> but I think that's about gonna wrap this video up today, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this commentary or you found anything interesting out of it, please leave a like or comment. Or subscribe, of course, that's my favorite one.
and you all have yourselves glorious days.